Hello, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my colouring tutorials. I'll be working on doing a, a lamp, a table lamp, and um, something I've never coloured on video before. And also the design is a table lamp on a table with various elements. With that comes light source. So I will be doing some other tutorials using the same design to see how we work out that light source. But for this first one, I'll be doing a tutorial just on the lamp. The design I'm going to be using for this tutorial is a digital design by Favo Reads and they have quite a few uh, designs on offer, Favo Reads Club. This one um, is a lovely design. It's got a, a table with a lamp on it and a book and a cat and plants and such like. So it's got quite a few elements uh, that is good for practicing several different uh, techniques and different types of shading. However, for this first one, I'm just going to be doing this lamp. Uh, I um, print my uh, digital designs onto slightly textured paper. Uh, this paper I'm using is from the works. It's a, an artist grade uh, paper. It, they come in pads, um, not too expensive. And it's nice, it's not too textured, but uh, reasonably thickness and there's a nice tooth on it. So I like to use this paper. Now I'm using Arteza pencils and uh, for this lamp I'm going to be using um, browns and yellows um, go for a kind of goldy look I'm not quite sure how that works but we'll see how it goes uh, I'm going to do the bulb first and I'm using uh, the 120 set of uh, teaser so I'm using a cream which is a 100 and uh, a honey yellow which is a 105 for the bulb and as always, uh, try and keep my pencil sharper and use light pressure to slowly build up my colours. I'm just doing the bold bit and I'm going around that highlight. I'm going to be leaving that white. It's actually an off-white, this paper, so it'll work in okay with the colours I'm using. Now I'm going to be going around the edge nearly to the bottom of this bulb. So just part way down to try and give it a, a 3D look, a little bit of depth, just slightly at the bottom. going in further at the top. I want to keep the bulb looking quite um, subtle because obviously uh, if it's on then the bulb's not going to have a great deal of uh, difference but just enough to make it look beveled, rounded, you know whatever you find the easiest description. So I'll be repeating those two layers until I feel there's enough colour down. Now this is going to be the last layer I'll put down of the light colour and I'm going to go over the darker yellow just to do a little bit of a blend to soften up those edges. Now 
Now that's my bulb. Nothing too complicated. And now I'm going to go on to the main part of the lamp. Now the lamp, I will be using those two light colours again, uh, but not so much the cream, more the uh, honey yellow really for highlights. However, to have a difference in highlight, I will be putting the cream underneath the other yellow. Um, so the first thing I want to do is the inside, because that's going to be the lightest section, basically because it's lit up by the bulb. So inside the lamp, I will cover all of that in the lightest colour that I use on the bulb, which is the cream, the one A100. Then I'm going to be going around the edges slightly with the, which is very similar to what I, how I did the bulb with the honey yellow. Now there's some line out here to indicate a little bit of darkness so I'm going to just darken in those as well Now the reason I'm doing the lighting in there, as I mentioned, is because the bulb, I'm doing this picture as the bulb being on, the lamp being on. So it's going to be shining brighter on the inside of the lamp, which quite often goes against what you normally do with shading, as the inside is darker. But because the light's on, it's lighter. So it's a little bit more of a challenge. So that is how I'm going to be building up the inside of that uh, lamp. I'm going to do the outside. Now um, I'm going to be trying to work this out as I go along. And the lightest sections, I'm going to be putting this cream down first, the lightest uh, colour, in where I think it will be lighter. Now here, above where the bulb is, I think that will be lighter because it will be reflecting through, the light will be reflecting through the top of the lamp with the lamp being on. So that part there, if you think about a, a lamp being on, it does reflect through this, this section because the, the light's on. So this is the shaded bit, the lamp shade as such. And the light's on, so that bit is going to be lighter. And this section here, I think, is like a, a beveled effect. So I'm going to be um, putting darker there. Now around this rim here will be slightly darker than this section here because it's facing downwards as well, but it'll still be affected by the light. So it won't be really dark, it'll just be slightly darker. So I'm going to put the medium yellow that I'm working on, on these sections.
I'm going to extend the lighter section a little bit. Now, as we get up here, this effect will be slightly less because we're moving away. The bulb is shining down that way and through the lampshade. So I feel that it will start to get darker up into this section. But I still want to put a little bit, just a little bit of this very light cream down. Now I'm going to be putting in a dark, the darker yellow in from the sides and inside this line section. I'm going to make that like a beveled in. So I'll do that. I'm not going to be going over the very light cream I've just put down. I'm just going to be overlapping it slightly. And this uh, part at the top of the uh, this section of the lamp, I'm going to go over that lighter section just slightly with the medium yellow. But still leave, I'll do a little bit there as well, but just, just still leave that very light section as a highlight. I'll do that again in the middle of this shade, lamp shade. I'll go over with the lightest colour. I'm just going to repeat what I've just done. And now I'm going to take the lightest brown I'm using, which is the 301, and these sections here, I'm just going to darken them in slightly, going over that uh, medium yellow. So that's how the layers are going to work for this part of the lamp. Now I'm going to move on down to the other parts of the lamp. Now I'm going to be using those colours again and I'll do the lightest sections first. I'm going to use the lightest cream colour 100 for the where I think it will be lighter. And these sections here that are standing out because they're like the uh, the bolts that hold the stem together. Now the other thing I think will be lighter is what's actually facing towards the lip bulb. So what would normally be darker, I'm doing those parts lighter. So the section here, which would normally be darker, but it's going to be lighter in parts because it's been affected by that light coming through the lampshade. And a little bit down here, but as it gets away, gets away from there, because that light I imagine is going to be affecting like a triangle effect. So only so far down on there and a little bit here. You just kind of try to work it out by eye, at least that's what I'm doing. <laughs> right, uh, now I'm going to use my medium yellow and I'm going to darken in parts that are still facing the lamp as such lampshade 
purpose making it a little bit darker and there was a bit of shadow for instance with that the wiring there'll be a little bit of shadow there because that will be casting a shadow across from the bulb but this section here will be slightly darker than that but still reasonably light and before when we said about that triangle effect at the bottom of here will be lighter but not as light as what we've just put down the lightest colour now Behind where the cat is, that will be in shadow, so I'm going to be just going so far down with this medium yellow. Now this, I'm just doing this roughly so I can adjust it. So now I'm going to be putting down my lightest brown, 301. And I'm going to be doing where I know definitely would be in shade so inside a part of the lamp stem would be in shade this section would be slightly darker because it's moving away from the light I'll do that section there inside The sections are all in the uh, lamps together. I can't remember the name of that for some strange reason. It just disappeared. <laughs> and I'm starting to shade this edge of the stand. Overlapping slightly into the uh, medium yellow I put down. But at the bottom, I'm going slightly darker as it moves out of that triangle effect I'm trying to create. A triangle effect of light source. And behind the cat, it would be in shade. Now I'm going to be using the darkest brown, uh, 309. And I'll be going into the darker sections. These bolts that hold the lamp stand together. And partially inside here. A little bit here because it'll maybe have a shadow coming off the top of that bolt a little bit round here and just on this edge not right over the medium brown just very slightly just to darken it in give it a contrast and a little bit more at the bottom behind the putty cat quite cute that cat isn't it So that is the first layers down of the main lamp and there will be a little bit of adjusting like for instance I'm going to put a little bit of medium brown there to make that more rounded give the illusion of roundness and I'm going to be repeating that um, on the lamp but obviously I'm not going to do all of that on camera it's just too long for you to sit and watch so I'll do that and then come back to this. 
Now I've repeated all those layers a few times and this paper, even though it is just cheap artist paper, is really nice. Um, it's working very well with these Arteza pencils. Um, I like it. Um, the layers go down really nice and you can get plenty more. I mean, I could get a lot more down than I've put down so far. Uh, when it comes to blending, I just use a cotton board because I'm using very light colours. Now, because I've been using light layers and because I've been using lighter colours, I've been quite cautious. I think I can go a little bit darker. Now, in this these corners, I want to use my lightest brown, the 301, just to darken in those corners. Give a little bit more depth. The same on the other side, the inside of the lamp. I don't want to be too dark because the inside of the lamp will be very light. And the edges of the lampshade, I'm just going to add a little bit of this lightest brown I'm using just to give a little bit more contrast same on the other side just make it more rounded looking Inside there, of course, all this was this colour anyway. I don't think it's there's quite enough contrast in there. So I'm going to use my darkest brown. I'm not covering all of that. I'm just going to go around the edge. One side of it. Again, just to give it a little bit more depth. This part of the lampshade, again, just a little bit round the edges, just to give it a bit more of a depth and contrast. I don't want to darken it in too much because the lamp is on and would be shining through. I think that's working quite nice, giving it a little bit more depth. And in this part of the lamp, the stand section, I'm going to add a little bit more dark sections just to add a bit more interest and depth. I'm coming with my darkest brown and extend that slightly. Now it comes these these little sections here are like the cable, the lamp cable. And I'll just do a little bit of colouring on that now. I'll add the medium yellow to where I think the cable is kinked upwards, give it a bit of lighter section there. 
and then I'll use a medium brown and just a little bit of the darker brown for a contrast a bit more depth obviously those two sections need more but small sections so that is the lamp uh, finished I uh, can do a little bit of blending with a cotton bud I don't want to use liquids on this because it's very light colours and I find that the uh, blending liquids don't work very well with light colours um, they seem to work better with darker colours to be honest so that's all it really needs is a little bit of blending with a, a dry cotton bud and that smooths that out a little bit one of a subtle effect so that's all I'll be doing to finish that off but that is basically a lamp and actually it's coming out in a, a kind of nice uh, goldy colour which I was open for so I'm really pleased about that as well now that's the first tutorial I'm going to be doing on this design um, but I want to do further uh, tutorials with it as well so that's the end of this tutorial for the table lamp and it's, uh, I hope it's given you some ideas of how to do a lit table lamp rather than one that isn't lit uh, and as I mentioned there's quite a few elements on this design I think would be quite interesting to do other tutorials on uh, of elements that are affected by a, a light source above them and I, I will do the shading for those. I won't be doing the whole of this design on in tutorials, just parts of them that I think people might be interested in. So uh, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Please do leave any comments. Uh, come and chat with me on my Facebook page. I'd love to chat with you. So I'll say bye for now and see you again with a new tu another tutorial in the near future.